Welcome back to Central New York's Open House. Well, this week we're building a New York sash window, and we've already seen the glass assembly and the frame assembly. Let's head back to the plant and see it all come together. Okay, now that the frame has been cleaned, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to add the accessories to it. And the accessories I'm referring to are the screen, the insect screen that's gonna keep bugs out of your house, and there's other accessories that have to be added for the final assembly process. While all of the framework has been going on, simultaneously the sashes that go in there, the parts that go up and down, are being made down this side of the line. So for every frame, there's two sashes being made simultaneously. On this side of, on this side of the line, what, we, what you see this gentleman over here doing is, he's putting spacer blocks in there. And why we put spacer blocks all the way around the frame of the window is that we want to make certain that the sash glass is completely centered in the window, okay? And why is that important? It's important for a couple of reasons. The first reason is we don't want the glass touching the vinyl so that when you close your window, we don't want to have any shock problems cracking the glass. The other reason is we want to make sure that because of the exchange of heat, hot and cold in a house, there's condensation that can form. We want to make sure that that doesn't touch the glass ever. And by shimming the window that way, it keeps the glass off the bottom of it. And they have a weeping system that lets that condensation get out, which adds to the life of the insulated glass room. So why is that important to the customer? Um, I mean, we have a, we, we're going to all this trouble to make sure that the, the, the glass is inserted perfectly. I mean, because we get a lot of calls. My old windows, they're all fogged up. Right. Is that from That's exactly what happened. The, the biggest deterrent to a lifetime seal on a window is water. So we have to do everything in our power to make sure water does not ever touch that ceiling because it'll make it to break. It'll break it down. There's an architectural glazing tape that we put around the perimeter of the window which adheres the glass to the sash of the window. And it's almost kind of like unibody construction where you take the strength of the glass and the strength of the vinyl and you marry them all together and now you have a nice strong component that's going to last a lifetime. Well, and that's why we have the lifetime warranty. We're not going to have those issues. That moisture won't be able to build up in there, and they won't have that problem with a seal failure. We're going to protect against that every way we can. This is the part of the operation where the glass that we made before and the screens that we make for the windows, everything comes together at this part. This is the final assembly area of the window. Here's the glass that we made before. That glass is going to get put into the sashes. It's going to get sealed and we make sure that on the exterior of the window we do proper sealing so that rainwater can't get into that IG as well. So we do, again, everything in our power to make sure that that stays dry. That's an external glazing bead that protects the edge of the glass. And in the unlikely event that a piece of glass gets broken, that makes it so you can reglaze it. So what happens now is we've made our frame, we've made our screen, we made our glass, we made our sashes, now we're going to make a window. And that's what happens right here. Over on this side here, the top sash, bottom sash of the window, that frame is going to get moved down the line, they're going to pick those two components, they're going to inspect them to make certain that they're, they're the right uh, accessories have been added to it, and they're going to install them into the frame. And what we're going to do right now is show you the finished product. It's incredible. I, I think it's just unbelievable how all these parts, pieces, and components come from the back of the building. We had the glass over here, the, the sash components, the frame components, and how this whole thing goes together. I mean, I just find it's incredible. And we have the New York sash, the New York sash window. I mean, I just find it to be. It's like a, it's like a symphony. Every single part of this is coordinated from the very point of order all the way to the finished product. Everybody in this factory works on a sequence and that sequence is, is, is finalized by having a window that comes together all the components at the same time without ever having to worry about inefficiencies in the manufacturing process. Now the window has made its journey safely from our factory in Maine down to our showroom here in Whitesboro. We'd like to thank Andy and our partners, 
up at the factory for taking us through that entire process of the making of a New York Sash brand window from start to finish. And don't forget, coming up on this Friday, December 5th, it's the 10th annual New York Sash Teddy Bear Toss. So get your tickets because this game will sell out. But when it does, you'll still have a chance to see the game. Stop over at Tony's Aw Delicious Deli and Sports Bar for the special sellout party. Bring a stuffed animal to Tony's, donate, and get your first drink for free. Thank you for watching this weekend's special episode of Central New York's Open House. And we'll see you Friday for the 10th annual New York Sash Teddy Bear Toss.